Come to a comfortable seated position and we'll prepare to start this flow and restore class. Close your eyes. Gently bring your hands together at the level of the heart. A long, deep inhale. As you exhale, rest your hands down to any comfortable position. Tune into the quality of your breath as you notice your breath. And just begin with that simple awareness of your breath moving in, breath moving out. <clears throat> Feel the awareness throughout the body. And just notice how your body feels. Then check in with the quality of your mind and your emotions, almost as though you're just noticing the weather. Maybe there are many thoughts, maybe there are few thoughts. Whatever is present, just simply be aware. And establishing that beginning point for our journey together with these three anchors of mindful awareness, let us begin. A long, deep inhale. And as you exhale, let's open the eyes. We'll start off with a gentle side lean. So inhale as you lift the torso a little bit out of the pelvis. Exhale, reach your right hand on the ground. Inhale, lift the left arm up so we can get that nice big lift and reach. Very good. We'll stay for five breaths. One. Nice and easy. Warm your breath up. Warm the body up. Two. Try to tune into that left elbow and let's see if we can straighten the left elbow a little bit more. And you can gaze straight ahead or look up at the left fingers. Four, deep breathing, we're almost there. Five, good job, inhale. Come on back to the center, exhale here. Now we're gonna go over to the other side. So inhale, you lift the spine above the pelvis, exhale, the right hand goes down. Make sure the right hip stays grounded. And then inhale, reach over, excellent. Mm, straighten the right arm as much as possible. Keep the right shoulder blade rolling away from the spine. We'll stay for five breaths. One, nice and easy, keep breathing. Two, keep lifting, keep breathing. Four, that's really good, almost there. Five, inhale, come on back into the center. Now let's just warm our wrists up a little bit before we get started. So let's take your right hand and flatten it down, open the fingertips, excellent. Spread them there for a moment, then prepare your left hand and close the fingers and then press outward through the heel of the right hand. Make sure you keep your thumb inside the grip of the left hand and gently bend the elbow just a hair so that you can make sure that you're really pushing out through the wrists and stretching all the muscles and tendons and that control the flexibility in the wrist. Then let's release, give your elbow a little shake, and then start off with the other side. Fingers wide, reaching down. Hold that there for a moment, and then close the fingers and reach your right hand around, pressing outwards through the heel of the hand. Nice and easy, no stress. No fight, no forks. Remember that little bend in the elbow so that you can really isolate the movement right around the heel of the hand. Stay for another moment and then exhale to release. And give your elbow a little shake. I'm sure it's the elbow that we shake and obviously the hand as well. Good. Now with that, we're prepared to come over onto our hands and knees. So let's come over onto the hands and knees. We've got the tabletop pose. Grip your fingertips. Take the knees, hips width apart. And give me tabletop for five breaths. One. That's good. Gaze between the hands. Two. Nice and easy. Relatively neutral spine. Little tuck of the tailbone. Four. Nice and easy. Fingertips grip. Five. Let's roll through cat and cow. Inhale. Extend the spine. Long deep breath in, exhale round the back, gaze switches down to the pubic bone. 
Inhale, round, and <laughs> extend the spine. Lift the chest, long deep breath in. Exhale, round the back, tuck the pubic bone under. Let's do one more. Inhale, roll the shoulders down the back and lift the chest. Long deep breath in. Last one. Exhale, round. Gaze at the pubic bone. Draw your knees together and then let's exhale, child's pose. Leave the hands out in front. Make sure that the body just relaxes for a moment as we use child's pose to warm up the muscles of the lower back. Releasing down through those long back muscles for a moment. And then let's come on back up. Inhale, come on back to your tabletop position. Now we're gonna add in some leg lifts. So I want you to extend your right leg back and inhale, lift right leg, back it up. Good, just like that, straighten the leg, one. Looks good, two. Keep your gaze forward, slightly forward. Four, and five. Exhale, set it down, round your back, and inhale, extend the spine as you lift left leg, back it up. One, nice and easy, relax, don't overdo it. Two, three, really strengthen and fire up that left leg. Four, almost there. Five, sink the knee down, round the back, and tuck it under. Now let's add in the arm. Inhale as you extend the right leg and the left arm. So this is also a little bit of balancing. Hold for five. One, really try to stretch these two body parts away from each other. Two, stay with it. Three, four, almost there. Five, exhale, come on down. Switch the sides. Inhale, left leg, right arm, one. Nice and easy, keep breathing, that looks good. Two, reaching, reaching, three, almost there, four, and five. Take the hand down, around the back for a moment, we repeat one last time. Right leg, left arm, one. This is so therapeutic for the back, so good for your balance, so good for your bandhas. That activation of the pelvic floor. Give me two more breaths. Nice and easy. Keep reaching, 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 and set it down. Okay, let's go for the other side. Inhale, extend the right arm, left leg. One, two, hold it, stay with it. Three, almost there. Four, it's looking good. Reach, reach, five, exhale. Set it down, curl round the back. And now we're gonna release the spine and come up to upward facing, downward facing dog. Sorry, curl your toes under and inhale up to downward facing dog. Send the hips back and up, lift the spine, lift the sitting bones. Stay for five deep breaths. One. Take this time to fire up the breath. Connecting deep into the pelvic floor. Two. Steady breathing. Three. Nice and easy. Stay with the breath. Four. Really good. Almost there. Five. Let's come on forward to plank pose. Walk your feet a little bit in. And then inhale, plank pose for five breaths. One, draw the navel in. Two, steady breathing. Three, fire up the shoulders. Four, and five. Let's come on down to chaturanga, however it works for you. Inhale, upward facing, lift the chest, long deep breath in. Exhale, push it on back to downward facing. Let's hold for a few more breaths. One. Two, nice and easy. Three. Stay with your breath, stay with your body. Four. Almost there. Five, now let's come on back to plank. Give me plank again. Walk your feet in and we'll hold for another five because plank is just such a good posture. One, two, fire up the shoulders, steady breathing. Three, 
Feel that inner heat getting turned on. Squeeze your glutes a little bit to really stabilize your plank. Four, almost there. Come on down to Chaturanga. Whatever way works for you. Inhale, upward facing. Long, deep breath in. Exhale, push it on back to downward facing. And again, five breaths. One. Two, nice and easy. Roll the shoulders open. Send the sitting bones back and up. Three. Keep breathing. Four. Almost there. Five. Walk your feet half the distance in. Let's do our hanging forward fold for a moment. Release your arms. Forehead rests on the forearms and gently move your weight from side to side. Hang for a few breaths just to really release. You can bend the knees for a moment and then straighten again and just really find that way into your breath and body. Nice and easy. Stay with the breath. You could close the eyes. Find the connection in. Stay with it. Nice and easy. And then let's do Padangasthasana. Hold on to your big toes. You can bend knees if you need to to grab onto the big toes. Then inhale, straighten the arms and legs as much as possible. And then again, exhale, forward fold. Five more breaths here. Roll shoulders open, steady breathing. One. Close the eyes or gaze to the nose tip. Two. Keep leaning gently forward, steady breathing. Three. Nice and easy. Four. Almost there. Five. Inhale, let's lift the head up. Walk your hands back. Now again, step on back to plank pose. From plank, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, long deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing. Downward facing, stay for a moment and we're going to do the three-legged dog. Point the right toes back and inhale, send the right leg back and up. Good job. Try to straighten the leg and reach. Looks really good. One. That's excellent. Two. Keep reaching, reaching. Push into your left leg a little bit. Big reach. Three. Four. Almost there. Stay with the breath. Five, exhale, let's set it down. Point the left toes. Inhale, left leg, back and up. One, looks good. Reaching, reaching. Three, steady breath. Four, and five, exhale, let's set it down. And again, come on back to plank. Find your plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, long deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing. From downward facing, step your right foot forward, squaring your pelvis, gently forward, keeping your left hand on the ground. Inhale, lift for a nice open twist and we'll hold it for five breaths. One, stay, keep breathing. Two, really stabilize your right leg down. And draw the navel in. Three. Feel your right leg working. We're going to work it even more. So stay with it. Four. Almost there. Okay, we're going to try something super hard. Take your right hand on the ground. Come on to your fingertips. Push weight into your right leg and inhale. Come on up to warrior three. Great, the asana position. Lift that left leg back and up. If you're comfortable here, take your hands off the ground. If not, just leave the hands on the ground. Hold for five. One, two, you can spread the arms if you like. Three, you can raise them in front of you if you like, or you can keep them on the floor. Four, almost there, you look beautiful. Really good job. Five, take your hands on the ground. Exhale, sink that left leg back. Then sink the left knee on the ground. Point the left toes. Anjanayasana, the crescent lunge. Inhale, lift your arms up. And we stay for five breaths. Looking good. One, stay for five. If you fell out of the flow, just find your alignment back to your posture here. Looks good. Square the pelvis. Two. Nice and easy. Three. Stay with your breath. Four. Let's change hand position. Interlock your fingers, dropping the arms down behind your back. 
Inhale, lift the chest up. One, gentle psoas stretch on the left side. Please don't overdo it. Two, stay, stay, keep working. Three, nice and easy. Four, almost there. Five, good, release. Take your right hand, place the right hand on the outside of the right foot, curl your left toes under. Inhale, open up and find your way into extended side angle pose. Excellent work. If it's too much for you with your right hand on the ground, you're welcome to come up, up onto your thigh, resting on the forearm or resting on a block. Up to you, stay with it, we breathe five times. One, deep breaths. Don't overdo it, feel your breath in your body, enjoy it, enjoy your practice. Three, four, almost there. All right, are you ready? We're gonna do warrior two. Inhale, come all the way up. We got our warrior two, good job. Stay with it, one, good. Send that right knee down a little bit. Two, keep breathing. Nice and easy. Square the pelvis as much as possible. Four. All right, you ready to work your legs even harder? Drop your left hand down. Reach around for your inner thigh. Reverse warrior. One. It's a nice, easy stretch. You can take it deeper if you want, but this is totally good. Just get that side body release. Three. Open up your chest. Four, nice and easy, enjoy it. Five, exhale, take your right and left hand on the ground. Inhale, back to plank pose, find your plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, long deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing. All right, are you ready for the other side? From downward facing, inhale, set the left foot forward, squaring the pelvis. Keeping your right hand on the ground. Inhale, open twist. Extend the left arm up, good job. You can gaze to the left hand or anywhere towards the left that's comfortable for you. Give me five breaths. One. Nice and easy. Two. Lengthen and deepen your breath. Three. Strengthen that back leg, nice and easy. Keep breathing. Four. Almost there, keep breathing. Good. Five, square your chest forward. Come onto your fingertips. And then, inhale, warrior three, left side. Press into your left foot and lift the right leg back. Come onto your fingertips. If you're comfortable on your fingertips, maybe you can come off the ground, maybe not. <laughs> we stay for five breaths. One, nice and easy. You can extend the arms if you like, or you can go back to the floor. Three, nice and easy, keep breathing. Four, almost there. Five, exhale, take your hands down. Set that right foot back and right knee on the ground. Point the right toes, Anjanayasana. Inhale as you lift. The chest, lift the arms. We're gonna stay for five breaths. Excellent work. If that right knee feels a little sensitive, please play something soft underneath it. We stay five breaths here. One, lift up and allow yourself to travel a little bit back, but not force. Two, nice and easy. Three, nice and easy. Keep breathing. Activate the muscles that lift the spine up out of the pelvis. Four. And five, change your hand position. Drop the hands down. Interlock your fingers behind you. Inhale, send the chest forward and up. One, please don't overdo it. Just explore your back bend. Looking good. Two, chest is moving up. Lift your chest. Three. Nice and easy, keep working, keep breathing. Four, and five, release your hands. Then inhale, lift the spine up, take your left hand on the floor and the outside of the left foot, then curl the right toes under it. Inhale, lift the hips to come up to extended side angle pose. You can be on your fingertips, on the floor, on a block, or up on your thigh. Find what works for your body. We stay five breaths. One. Keep breathing. Both shoulder blades roll down the back and away from the spine. 
three, reach, reach, reach across that right side body, four, almost there, five, and prepare for warrior two, inhale, spin it up, take a moment if you need to equalize your legs, and let's gaze to the left fingers, open through the hips, fire up that left thigh, you got it, stay with the breath, one, two, Enjoy that burning sensation. Enjoy the feeling of working your legs. Three. Stay with it nice and easy. Four. And five. Layer your right hand on the inside of the left thigh. And then inhale, reverse warrior. Reach. Reach so you get a nice side body stretch on the left side. One. Don't overdo it. Two. Keep the shoulders away from the neck. Three. Lengthen, don't force. Four, almost there. Five, good job. Spin both hands forward. Spin that right foot forward. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, back to plank pose. Hold your plank again, five breaths. One, fire it up. Two. Stay with it, deep breaths. Three. Nice and easy. Four. And five, exhale, chaturanga, good job. Inhale, up over facing, long, deep breath in. Exhale, push it on, back to downward facing. Sink the right knee down, we got side plank, right side. Press into the right side, inhale, lift, left arm up. You wanna do full side plank right from the beginning, go ahead, but we will do it twice. One, stay with it, two, Three, remember this, if this is difficult for you, you might not want to do the full version. Four, and five. Now extend the left arm so you can reach across and behind. So just reach, extend the left arm. Stay for another five. One, lift the chest up. Let your back bend a little bit. It's looking good. Two, three, almost there. Four, and five, inhale, come on down to your hands and knees, we switch the sides. Inhale, stick your right leg back and come up onto the left hand. We've got the left side plank, stay for five. One, you can gaze up to your right fingers. Two, nice and easy. Three, Stabilize here, so use your front body strength. Pull the ribs in a little bit. Four, almost there. Five, extend. Now start to use your back bend as you reach across and over. One, deep breaths. Two, stay with it, feel what you feel. Find a good gazing point, but don't overdo it. Almost there. And five, inhale, put that right knee on the ground, and inhale, back to plank. Good, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, long deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing. Okay, from downward facing, stay here for a moment, I want you to evaluate. Do I wanna do that same little routine again, or do I wanna try to make it harder? All right, how do you know you're ready to make it harder? If that was easy for you, all right, you decide. Now, inhale, come on over, right side plank. Both legs up, or you can sink the knee down. Remember, it's your practice, you decide. Five breaths, enjoy it, one. Use your internal obliques to lift the hips up, two. If at any moment you need to sink that right knee down, go ahead, four. All right, it's gonna be harder, are you ready? Wild thing, step your right leg back, push the pelvis up, and extend, over. Good job, you wanna sink the knee down and just do that gentle side stretch, you can. One, don't give up, don't get frustrated, just breathe and try. Three, you can sink the knee down and just reach the arm over. Four, looks good. You ready to come out? Okay, sink the hips down. Inhale, back to plank pose. Stabilize your plank. We're gonna pop on over to the other side. Inhale, left side, one. Two, you need to sink that knee down at any time. Go for it. Use those internal obliques. Three, nice and easy. Four, squeeze the legs. Five, all right, we got the hard pose. Step your right toes back onto the ball of the right foot. Push the pelvis up. Wild thing on the other side. 
and just gentle extend. Use your back bend. One. Stabilize your left arm. Two. Use your back muscles to lift up. Three. Nice and easy. Four. Almost there. Five. Sink the hip down. Drop the right hand. Inhale. Back to plank pose. Exhale. Chaturanga. Inhale. Upward facing. Long deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing. Oh, good job. Come down onto your knees. Not child's pose, but come up to a kneeling position. Good job. Everybody on fire just a little bit? <laughs> I hope so. I am at least, and I don't think it's just the Miami heat. <laughs> come up onto the knees. We're going to prepare for Ustrasana position. So first, let's just do the most accessible version of Ustrasana, and then we'll see if we can make it harder. Place your thumbs on your sacrum, and then inhale, push the sacrum forward as you draw the shoulder blades down the back. Um, notice the position of the shoulders is internally rotated here. And we'll hold this for a few breaths, just creating the space by lifting the ribs away from the pelvis. Now you can stay here, supporting the sacrum, or you can dangle the arms, interlock your fingers, and push the pelvis forward. Find what works for you, and we stay for five breaths. One, nice and easy, find what works, four, if you want to dial it back down at any moment, you can, and five, inhale, let's come all the way up, shake it out for a moment, draw your knees together, kneeling position, feel your breath, feel your body, no fight, no force, just feel what you feel. <clears throat> Now, you have two options. If you want to make a strasana slightly more accessible, you can grab your two yoga blocks and position them on the outside of the feet, and you're going to take the hands to the blocks. If a strasana is easy for you, you don't need to use the blocks. I'll show you with the blocks, and then you can make the decision if you want to take your hands to your feet instead of the blocks. So, inhale, let's come up. Prepare. Long deep breath in, and as you lift the spine, dangle the arms behind you. Rotate your shoulders forward, rotate the hands back. Lift the spine, and then exhale, reach for the blocks, taking your fingers in the same direction as the toes. When you're ready, you can drop the head back. <clears throat> and we'll stay for five breaths, pushing the pelvis forward. Now, if it's easy for you, you can come off of the blocks and rest your hands on the heels. Being careful now not to squeeze the butt and not to overdo it. If it's better on the blocks, just stay on the blocks. It's all good. Five breaths. One. Nice and easy. Find a way to relax. You could close the eyes for a moment or gaze to the nose. Keep your balance. Nice and easy. Three. Four. Engage the back muscles. Soften the butt muscles. And five. Inhale both hands at the same time. All the way up. That was intense. And draw the knees in. We'll move the blocks on over to the side. Exhale, full child's pose. Take your hands by your feet and drop the head down. Stay here for five breaths to really let everything equalize again. Feel the breath moving in, breath moving out. Breath moving in. Breath moving out. Nice and easy. One more. Good. Release your hands forward. Inhale, back to plank pose. You can walk it on back to plank. Stabilize. Feel the shoulders. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Long deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing. Come on back to downward dog. Take the knees down, cross your feet. Back to seated, come on to seated. Sitting bones on the ground, dandasana position. Let's flex the feet, fingers near the hips, or hands on the floor. Lift the spine up out of the pelvis. You can get that natural lumbar curve. Lift the chest up and chin down. Flex your feet, we stay five breaths. One, two, lift the kneecaps, steady breathing, three, Four, almost there, keep breathing. Five, 
side, Paschimottanasana, in our forward fold. Reach down, find your ankles, or find the big toes. We need to bend the knees a little so you can hold the toes. Go for it. Inhale, long, deep breath in. Exhale, pivot at the hip joints and fold. Keep it active, so lift the kneecaps. You can hold on to big toes. Don't pull with the arms, but activate the pelvic floor and just gently release the spine. One. Stay with the deep breaths. Two. Feel the spinal muscles really elongating and releasing. Three. Stay with the breath. Four. Almost there. Five. Good job. Inhale. Straighten the arms. We're going to go a little bit deeper. Hold on to your big toes. Draw the pelvic floor in. Walk your hands around the feet. Maybe holding the balls of the feet or holding the outsides of the feet or interlocking fingers. Inhale. Long deep breath in. Exhale again, fold. And you can wiggle around in the posture and move yourself in. Drop the head down. We stay another five breaths. One, draw the navel more and more in. Deep, steady breathing. Two, nice and easy. Stay with the breath. Three, no force. Looking really good. Keep breathing. Nice and easy. Five. Good job. In. Now straighten the arms. Exhale. Slowly, gently come up. Let's cross the feet. Inhale all the way back to plank pose. Exhale. Chaturanga. Inhale. Upward facing. Long deep breath in. Exhale. Downward facing, come on back. We'll come back to seated, so cross the feet. Exhale, gently sit down, straightening the legs. Marichasana, A position. Bend the right knee up, leaving a space between your right foot and the left thigh. And then exhale, pivot forward. Now, you can simply pivot forward, or if you feel you have the space, you can internally rotate the shoulders and reach your hands towards each other behind the back. All right, see what's accessible for you. Inhale, long deep breath in. Exhale, fold. Very good. One. If you can't bind, you can just leave your left hand on the ground. Just hold the knee. Stay with what works for your body. Three. Four. We're almost there. Keep working. Keep feeling. No pressure to take the bind. Just work that forward direction with the torso. Almost there. Five. Inhale. Let's lift the head up, releasing the bind. Exhale. Back to Dandasana position. Now we're going to switch the sides. Fold the left knee up. And as you fold that left knee up, that same space, the distance between your left foot and the right inner thigh. Then holding on to the left knee, right hand on the ground. Inhale. Reach the chest forward. If it's comfortable for you, you're going to drop your shoulder forward and interlock your fingers. Good job. Then exhale, fold. And if the fold remember is too difficult, you can simply hold on to the knee and try to lean a little bit over to the sides. Really, your body tells you what's accessible. We stay for five breaths. Your left hip can come off the ground a little bit so that you can allow yourself to really pivot more and more forward. We stay. One. Find what works for your body to keep a little activation through the legs, through the pelvic floor. Three. Nice and easy. Four. Five. Inhale. Let's lift the head up. Drop the left hip down, then pull the right knee up, and we're just gonna hold an open seated squat position for a moment. So interlock your fingers and just hold open seated squat for a moment and round the back down. We'll hold a couple breaths here. Draw the navel in, head down, shoulders down. Stay for a moment. Work the hip joints, release the lower back. 
then inhale, lift the head up, and now we're going to try to come up with only the strength of the pelvic floor. This is so good for the hip joint. So take the hands forward, then you're going to lean a little back, rotate the tailbone under, and then inhale, come up. If it didn't happen, please use your hands and come up. We're going to go up and down three times, all right? Open the knees so it's an open squat, okay? Exhale, down. Good. Down is easy. <laughs> up is harder. Lean a little back, rotate the tailbone under, and then inhale. Forward and up. Press into the legs as you rise up. We got two more. Good job. Try again. Exhale. Roll through the hip joints. Go down. We got two more. Rotate the tailbone under, and then inhale. Rise it up. Good. Last one. Give yourself a moment to come up, and then rotate the tailbone, exhale, go down. Good, down is easy. Then, lean a little back, rotate the tailbone under, roll through the hip joints, come up. Great, after you come up, hands in prayer, hold your squat. One, lift the chest up, deep breaths. Two, draw the navel in, stay with the breath, relax your neck. Three, keep breathing, strong pelvic floor. Four, almost there. All righty, take the hands on the ground. Bakasana position, squeeze your knees onto the arms, pitch your body weight forward. You can keep your feet on the ground or maybe you can get one foot off the ground. Maybe you can get both feet off the ground. We're gonna hold for five. One, two, lift your body with the core. Three, squeeze the ribs in, squeeze the elbows a little bit in, it's looking good, stay with it, stay with it. If one foot's on the ground, it's totally okay. Almost there, five, you can step or jump back to plank and exhale, chaturanga, <laughs> good job. Inhale, upward facing, long, deep breath in. Exhale, downward facing, push it back. Then, let's cross the feet. Exhale, sit down. Point the toes, grab your yoga blocks. Let's get them set up. Just a little more fire before we wind down. Now, Navasana, arms up. One, you can keep toes on the ground. Or you can lift them up, up to you. Two, you can straighten for now if you want to also. Your choice. Three, good. Toes point. Four, it's looking good. Five, press your feet, use the blocks, pitch your shoulders forward, pick it up, exhale, come on down. Again, Navasana. One, two, stay with it, deep breaths. Three, squeeze pelvic floor. Four, almost there. Five, cross, shoulders forward, hips back and up. Exhale, set it down. Again, Navasana. One, two, Stay with it, three, nice and easy, four, almost there, five, cross, shoulders forward, hips back and up, exhale, down, give me two more, Navasana, one, straighten the legs if you like, to turn up the fire, two, three, keep breathing, four, nice and easy, five, cross, hips back and up, exhale, set it down, last one, one, Two, stay with it, deep breaths, three, four, almost there, almost there, don't give up, don't give up yet, almost there, five, okay, now let's hold the lift up for five, one, two, three, four, almost there, five, exhale, come on down, okay, walk the blocks forward, Keeping them shoulder width apart. We're going to do upward facing dog on the blocks. First, chaturanga. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Now, I want you to hold the upward facing using the space of the blocks to try to soften a little bit and just let that release the muscles of the psoas, release the back, stay for an extra breath, start to find your softness. Stay for another breath, and exhale, downward facing. Step off of the blocks when you come into downward facing. Long, deep breath in. Long, deep breath out. One more. 
Long deep breath in, long deep breath out. Sink the knees on the ground. Let's move the blocks over to the side. And we've got puppy pose. Taking your hands forward, open the hips just a little bit. Top of the forehead on the ground. Come up onto your fingertips if that's accessible for you and roll the shoulders away from the spine. We have about five deep breaths. Hold on. Two. Three. Stay with it, deep breathing. Four. And five. Inhale, walk it all the way up. We'll do thread the needle, press into your left hand. Inhale, lift the right arm up. Exhale, thread the needle under, extending your left arm. Very good. Okay, let's settle in now. Your nervous system starts to move into a more quiet space. Allow yourself to release. Relax the body. Really start to quiet the mind. Nice and easy, the body relaxes, the mind relaxes, tune into the quality of your breath. Notice your breath moving in, breath moving out. Nice and easy. Feel the muscles in the neck release. You can move a little from one side to the other to just get that feeling of more and more release through the body, release through the mind. Keep the navel drawn in as you soften and relax. Stay for another few breaths, we're almost there. Rolling that left shoulder blade away from the spine. A few more breaths. Feel the breath moving in, breath moving out. Good. Let's prepare to come out. Walk your left hand back. Inhale, come on up to your tabletop position. Press into your right hand. Inhale, lift the left arm. A nice big spiral and reach. Exhale, thread the needle under, relaxing the left side of the neck as you extend the right arm, coming onto your fingertips, and release, relax through that right shoulder, release through the left side of your neck, nice and easy. Feel the breath moving in, breath moving out. Find the place where you can really release into the posture. Where you can find that quiet space, closing the eyes for a few moments, connecting into the pelvic floor. Deep, steady breaths. Moving in and out of the body. Nice and easy. Breath moving in, breath moving out, let it release. Good, let's walk your right hand back. We're gonna prepare to come out. Inhale, gently find the way to your tabletop. Let's widen the knees. Grab your bolster and we'll go for that wide child's pose. If you're going to open, rotate the tailbone a little bit under. Make sure that the bolster is going to fully support you. And then exhale, come on down. Notice the change in position when the knees are a little wider. How that changes the feeling in the hips. And how that changes the feeling in the back. Close the eyes and allow yourself to really relax. Release and drop your attention more and more down. Keep the mind quiet. 
thoughts and aware. You might notice yourself taking deeper breaths that seem to just melt the tension away from the body. As you feel your breath moving in, breath moving out. Feel the whole body so you can tune into all the sensations through the body, all the sensations in the muscles. Feel the breath moving in, breath moving out. Nice and easy. Relax, release, quiet the mind. Do you notice many thoughts that seem to come and go through the mind? Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Stay with the breath. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Stay for a few more moments as you just enter into a more quiet space, a more inward space. Release, relax. Give yourself the chance to wind deeply down. Let's prepare now to slowly come out. Inhale as you walk it up onto the elbows, pushing the bolster just a little bit away. Come up, cross your feet, gently sit down. And then we're going to open the legs for Upavishta Konasana. So you can spread them apart as comfortably apart as you like. Take a moment upright and just engage your legs and flex the feet. Notice how the legs kind of like to engage for a moment right now after they've been closed. And pull the bolster a little bit in, soften. And then exhale again, your elbows rest up on the bolster. Make sure that you really get the support and then exhale again, drop down. Take a moment here to feel what you feel. If you spread the legs too wide apart, you can lessen by bringing the feet closer together. It's always better to really try to be comfortable from the beginning and not overdo it. There's an element of stretching, but more than that, there's an element of relaxing, releasing. Quiet the nervous system, quiet the mind. No more fight, no more force. Nice and easy, stay with the breath. Keep a nice, quiet inner awareness. Let all the tension in your mind and in your body start to really release. Relax, drop gently away. No fight, no force. Breathe and feel. Long, steady breaths, the back muscles release, inner thigh muscles release. Feel the breath moving in, breath moving out, the gentle tide of the body. With each breath that moves in, find the quiet within. With each breath that moves out, Release, relax, and drop more and more down. And 
what are you holding on to that you can let go of? What is there in the body, the mind, that seems to want to peel away? Can you let it go? What pain points are present in the body? Can you drop your resistance so that every uncomfortable sensation is welcome? Every pleasant sensation is welcome. And you're just here to experience what is. What it is simply is. No fight, no force, no control, no manipulation. Just be here. Feel the breath moving in, breath moving out in that quiet space of awareness. Quiet space of inner healing. Nice and easy, steady breaths, steady breaths. Now we're going to add in a little bit of movement. So I want you to just gently lean over to one side. So you can lean over to the side, right side. And just get the body to drape itself over. Explore the different sensations. We won't stay for too long. Then I want you to drape over to the other side, just like a lean over. Almost like you just melt off the bolster for a moment. And then come on all the way back to the center and all the way up. Good. Keep the legs open. Take your right hand, press over onto the right side and reach. Just easy. Don't overdo it. You can lean as much as you like over to the right. But please don't overdo it. Explore your body, but again, don't overdo it. Hang, find that space where you can be for an extra few breaths. Explore straightening the arm, explore bending the arm. And then inhale, slowly come up and try the other side. Left hand down, and then inhale, reach. Explore what your body wants to do, whether the elbows bend or straighten. Please don't overdo it, nothing to prove, no competition. Head down, head up, let your body decide. Rest on the elbow, wiggle around, change position here and there, up to you. Steady breathing, deep breath in, deep breath out. Good, so roll the right shoulder down, prepare to gently come up, push the bolster away, hold underneath your knees, and draw the knees gently in. Hold the opposite knees and give yourself a nice long hug. Hold for a moment, give yourself love and support, kindness. Give yourself a warm, deep embrace and just welcome, welcome, welcome all the sensations that you feel. Long, deep breath in, long, deep breath out as the nervous system really drops more and more down, deeper, quieter, more and more aware. Then let's move the bolster gently out of the way. We're going to prepare to lie down. So find a place that's comfortable for you. And then exhale, roll your spine gently down. Construct a rest position at first. Knees together, hands rest anywhere that's comfortable for you. Long deep breath in, long deep breath out. Feel what you feel through the entire realm of the body. 
Feel what you feel through the mind and the emotions. Moving yourself into a deeper, more meditative space. And then let's walk the feet gently close together. Extend your left leg out. Fold the right knee up into the chest and let's hold the right knee into the chest for a moment. Just explore that connection in, the right knee folding in. Gently switch your grip to hold underneath your knee and then explore how much your leg wants to straighten. Maybe the right leg doesn't straighten very much or maybe it straightens all the way. You can explore changing your hand position to the ankle if your leg straightens all the way. If not, Stay underneath the knee, it'll be a little more comfortable. Close the eyes for a few breaths. Please don't pull on your right leg. Just let the fingers and the weight of the arm gently fold that right leg a little bit in. Feel what you feel. No force. No fight, just allow your breath to be what it is, nice and easy, nice and easy. No fight, no force, just allow the body to do what it does. And then let's softly bend the right knee. Again, changing the grip now to the outside of the knee. Hold it a little bit in. And now we'll roll over to the reclining twist. So as you roll over, you can either rest your knee on the bolster or on the floor, it's up to you. Gently twist over and extend the right arm when you're ready. And we'll stay for a few breaths. Calming the mind. Relax. Release. Find the place where your right arm is most comfortable. But don't run away from any uncomfortable sensations. Close your eyes. Let all the tension in the body release. Relax and drop away. Any particularly tight muscles, let them release. Relax. Keeping the mind quiet and calm. No force, no fight, just the breath. Nice and easy. Enjoy the moments of release. All the layers of tension drop away. The mind and the heart seem to find a harmonious space. Stay for a few more breaths as the whole body unwinds, releases, relaxes. Okay, let's prepare to come back. Inhale, slowly back until your sacrum is down. Hold the right knee in for a moment. Prepare to switch the sides. Extend your right leg, left leg comes in. Hold that in for a moment. 
And switch the grip to underneath the knee. And then explore how much your leg wants to straighten. If the leg doesn't straighten very much, please keep the grip underneath your knee. If your leg seems to straighten easily, then you can keep fingers interlocked and switch the grip to your ankle. Please don't pull on the leg. Right leg is going to stay a little active, but now just allow yourself to release, relax the body, keep the mind quiet, feel all that you feel, don't run away from any sensation, just explore the inner world. Find your breath, find your body. Nice and easy, steady breath. Nice and easy. Keep the mind quiet and calm. Relax the body, relax the mind. Let's prepare now by swiping, sliding the arms down behind the knee. Bend the left knee, let's switch the grip. Stay for a moment. Prepare now for the reclining twist. Exhale as you slide over, gently moving. And exhale as you extend the left arm. No force. Find the place where your body is most comfortable. And we prepare to relax. Relax the muscles of the chest. Relax the mind. Relax the body. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Steady breaths. All is well. Find that place inside of yourself where all is well. No more fight, no more force. Just your breath, your body. Quiet and calm. Okay, let's prepare to come out. Slide back down, holding the left knee in until your sacrum is on the ground. Then Let's fold both knees up into the chest for a moment. Little squeeze. Hands on the ground, legs up. Be free to karate. It's point of feet. Close the eyes and just start to really feel the blood and circulation in the body moving fluidly through every cell of the body, restoring the body. Relax and release. Quiet and calm, nice and easy, steady breath. Feel the breath moving in, breath moving out. Feel the little vibrations that roam on the surface of the skin and in the energy field of the body. Notice the emotions, the thoughts. And then let's gently bend the knees, sinking the feet back down. Make sure your sacrum is comfortably on the ground and open the arms and legs. 
Make sure you have a good spot on your mat. And exhale, let's lie down. If you're feeling a little chilly, feel welcome to cover yourself up. Relax, release. Bring your attention to your heart center and feel the vibration of the heart. Feel the breath moving in, breath moving out at the level of the heart. Feel the space around the body at the level of the heart. Plant the seeds of metta first for yourself. May I be happy. May I be peaceful. May I be safe and secure. May my body be healthy, filled with energy. May I release all resistance. May I forgive myself. May I forgive all beings. May I be filled with love. May all beings be filled with love. Feel the heart center expand outward. Be aware of the presence of all beings, the earth underneath you, all the beings of the earth, beings of the land, all the insects, all our cherished pets, all cats and dogs and puppies and kittens. All the wild animals, tigers, leopards, giraffes, rabbits, deer. All the animals that roam freely. And us too, us human beings, we are beings of the land, beings of the earth. Feel your connection outward. Beings of the air, all the birds, the bees, the flying beings. Beings of water, the fish and other sea creatures. Beings in lakes like frogs and other fish. Beings of the spirit, Beings in the ether, beings of energy and light. Perhaps you feel the presence of your angels and guides, or those spirits who have crossed over and might be on the other side. All beings in the whole universe, including yourself, may all beings be happy, May all beings be safe and secure. May all beings be peaceful. May all beings be filled with love. May all beings live in harmony. 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 Then allow yourself a long deep breath in. As you exhale, start to move your fingers, toes, your hands and feet. And let's bend the knees and the elbows. A long deep breath in. As you exhale, hug the knees into your chest. A little rock from side to side. Roll up around to the side, whichever side is comfortable for you. Inhale, gently return to a comfortable seated position. Your eyes closed, hands at the heart center. Feel the presence of love, of peace, and of harmony within you, within your body within the energy system that is you. 
heart and mind come into deep coherence and alignment. Your higher self, your spirit, your soul. Moving in every thought, moving in every cell of the body as you step into alignment with your highest path. A long, deep breath in. As you exhale, softly open the eyes. Thank you so much for joining me on this practice. May you be happy. May you be peaceful. May you be filled with love. Namaste.